Hi, today I'm going to show you a method for multiplying a three digit number by a two digit number using lines instead of knowing your times tables. Um, you might want to check out my other videos on this before you attempt these ones, as these ones are harder than my previous videos. So let's have a look at example one then. So we need to work out 132 times 13. So we're going to split the first number up into lines. So we're going to have one line for the hundreds. We have three lines for the tens. And we need two lines for the units. Now we just need to split the second number uh, with diagonal lines this time going downwards. So we need one line for the tens up at the top and then we need three lines for the units just make these a little bit longer now all we need to do now is count the intersections that we have and this will be part of our answer so if we first of all count the intersections that we have here so we have one two three four five six so this is the last digit of our answer. We then need to count all the intersections that we have here. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we put the 1 here and we need to carry the first digit underneath into the next column. We then need to count the intersections that we have here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we need to add the 1 on up here, which makes 7. And finally, we just need to count the intersections that we have here. So this is just one intersection. So our answer is 1716. So let's move on to example 2 then. So this time we have to work out 254 multiplied by 32. So let's break the first number up into diagonal lines. So we have 200, so we need two lines down at the bottom here. Okay, we then have five tens, so we need to put five lines here. And then we have four units, so we need four more lines. And then we then need to split up the second number with diagonal lines going the other way. So we have three tens here, so we need three lines at the top. And we're multiplying it. We then have two units, so we need two lines underneath. So we just need to now count the intersections that we have. So we need to begin here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this will be the last digit of our answer. Next, count the intersections that we have in this bit. So we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So if we put the 2 here and carry the 2 into the next column. So we then need to count the intersections that we have here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, plus the 2 here, which makes 20, 21. So we put the 1 here, the 2 underneath. And finally, we just need to count the intersections that we have here. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, plus the 2 here, 7, 8. So our final answer is 8,128. Thanks for watching.